Have you ever wanted to play a game that's like a perfect cross between Hotline Miami and Silent Scope? A game most people haven't heard of mixed with a game most people have forgotten about. I'm, I'm nothing if not hashtag relevant. But that's exactly what the fantastic Children of the Sun is. A perfect marriage between two very distinct genres to create this tactical puzzle shooter that potentially could be one of the best things you play this year. Here's the gist of it, right? Each level only allows you to fire your rifle once. No more, no less. But with that one bullet, you have to make sure that by the end, you're the only person left standing within a roughly six mile radius. But how do you do that, I hear you ask? Well, you are somehow able to telepathically redirect the flight path of this bullet, but only if it first hits the target. So you spend the beginning of every level stalking around the outside, circling your prey, marking every one of your targets like a hungry, hungry hippo. Then you fire upon that first target get before telepathically acting as Google Maps for the bullet, redirecting it from cranium to cranium until there's no one left standing. At the next junction, turn left. You have arrived at your destination. Only when you successfully kill every single enemy in the level with that one bullet do you complete the level. If you miss, if the bullet goes off in the wrong direction, if you miss that one guy who's hiding in a house over there, then you are doing this again. It has to go down perfectly. So your moment to moment experience with Children of the Sun becomes this unique trial and error experience that channels all the best bits of your favourite puzzle games as you figure out the most efficient way to take down each group of cultists. But at the same time, it still retains all that excitement and all that pace of a real time action game. It's, oh, it's some beautiful stuff. Take a guess who published this. Go on, take a guess. That's right, it's Devolver Digital, those grubby wee gremlins that we all love because they just make the most beautifully violent games, like the video nasties of our generation, whether it's Hotline Miami or Katana Zero or even Gorn on VR. And look, I'm one of those wankers, yeah. I'm a games as art wanker who's constantly sitting saying, guys, please, please, can we just try and make video games that aren't about constant slaughter? And then Devolver Digital approach me in a dark alley and they go, hey, hey, psst, hey. Do you want a game that's all about shooting people in the face, but also if your bullet's on fire while it goes into someone's face, then you get extra points? And I go, oh, how dare you? How dare you? Of course, of course I don't want something disgusting like that. Don't ever talk to me again. But yes, I've never wanted to play a game more. Please, can I have the Steam key for it? Thank you. Don't tell my wife as well. Uh, please, she'll leave me. Oh yeah, but also, see if any of those games as our existential chats maybe appeal to you, then please do subscribe and check out some of my videos like this one here that's all about my love and respect for the very famous golfing scene in The Last of Us Part 2. There you go, a wee plug. What's it all about though? Well, in this game, you play a character called The Girl, who's taken down the cult member by member until she reaches the leader known as The Leader. I should have worded that better, sorry. You're not explicitly told what it is that they've done, but between each mission, you're given these lovingly little animated segments which reveal more of the story piece by terrible piece and what exactly it is that the cult did to you and your family in the name of the leader. So between every mission, you're learning more and more about the cult and getting angrier and angrier and thinking, do you know what? Shooting these guys in the face is too good. This next level, every single one of these cultists is getting shot right in the arse. Right in the arse piece. Right up the arse piece. Right up it. Children of the Sun has no firm release date yet, but we're set to get our grubby little hands on it sometime in 2024. At the moment, it's a PC exclusive, but fingers crossed the consoles get some love soon, because honestly, I think this game is so great, it deserves to be played by as many people as possible. And if you're sitting there thinking, wow, he's really sold this game to me, like, I'm, I'm really itching to shoot some guys in the arse, then head over to Steam and you can download one of the most generous demos that I have ever seen for a video game. Gives you a whole host of levels where you can test out your terrifying skills. But hey, I might be preaching to the choir here. You might have already played this demo and think it's brilliant. You might have told all your friends about it or you might be hearing about it for the first time. So why don't you stick a comment down below and let me know all about it. And while you're down there, why don't you smash that subscribe button, but not too hard because they're quite fragile and we've only got the one. If you, if you break it, you buy it. So smash it, but you know, don't go wild.
And hey, if you've enjoyed listening to me, then I've got a playlist of a whole load of different video essays all about different things, games as art, about original video game characters and how they've gone missing lately, about the PlayStation 2 and how it's maybe one of the greatest consoles of all time and maybe also the reason we're getting so many boring remakes these days. But you go watch some of those and leave me some abuse in the comments too. Go on, I can take it. I can't take it, please be gentle.